Peg Selection Mode, the super handy time saver for animating to make your life easier so that you can quickly move things around. You jump straight to the pegs. And if you do come to that point of where you need to reset things, it's very easy. You just click on the drawing, press the letter R, and it will reset to that default pose. Hello, and welcome to another Tomb Boom tip video. This one is quite simple, but it's maybe going to help you whilst animating. It's about being able to select these green things, the pegs. Now, a lot of the time in its default mode, Tomb Boom, when you click on an object, it gives you kind of like a, a reddy color around the edge, um, maybe even a a purpley color. It depends on uh, how you're clicking on things and what you are actually selecting. But um, basically what it's telling you is that you are selecting the drawing, this blue thing here. This is what we're selecting right now. If we press the letter B, it goes up to select the deformer, which you can see there. And then if I press B again, it goes up to the peg. Now, what I can do is if I was to resize this and then press the letter R, which is resetting the peg, that doesn't work because we've still got our drawing selected. We have to press B twice, then it resets. And that can be annoying. It can be a bit frustrating to, to work with. So in this little demo robot character here, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And we've got our transform tool here, Shift and T selected, and we can turn on this button, peg selection mode. When I click on this neck, it will jump directly to the peg. You can turn on deformers from there with this little line in the single, single green circle. And so you can still edit your deformers and, and manipulate them to make your animation and your poses. If you select something and you want to go down to the drawing, you've just got to press Shift and B a couple of times and that will take you back down. Now you might think, well, that's annoying if I want to change the drawing, like lip sync. You can easily just toggle this off. But what you may find is most of the time you're going to be using it when you want to select the, the peg itself. Like for example, these little selectors here to select my eyelids. It's going to be very easy for me to manipulate these, press the letter R and it jumps back to its default, which is in the center. Or this eye, if I over squash it, pressing R, it's going to jump straight back because it's jumping to the peg rather than the drawing. So peg selection mode, very handy to quickly animate and move things around. Again, you can still select your drawings. You just have to go the other way with shift and B. That's it for this tip. I hope you found it useful.